Hot take. Nebraska has a legit quarterback controversy. Now, before we start getting off the rails here, I, I do want to kind of do one thing here real quick so we understand where this came from. There's been a lot of, of, of grumblings out there, right? And this is an, uh, an article that was published by The Athletic. Go check it out. This is between Jeff Sims and Casey Thompson as Nebraska QBs. Who starts for Matt Rule? And to me, I, I didn't – I personally didn't think this was uh, – I don't know. I, I I didn't think there was a, a a controversy until I started seeing this, and then I got to thinking. Your thoughts, Chris? My thoughts on this. You know, I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to be right to the point. I don't think there is. Um, I, I will hand it back over to you here in a minute. But um, Casey Thompson, I believe this will be this is fifth year, right? I mean, he played at Texas for a couple of years. Came over last mm -hmm. year. I believe he had 17 touchdowns. I did not like the 10 interceptions. He also was hurt. Um, at the end of the season here and there, which didn't help anything, and we really fucking struggled on offense without him. Um, I know who Jeff Sims is. Dynamic athlete, the kick and run. He's got some experience under his belt as well. But to answer your question, I do not think it's a legit quarterback controversy. Casey came back. He didn't have to. Um, I, I, think, I think Casey's the better thrower of the football when given time, and I think this is where – I, I put Casey in my top 10 quarterbacks this year at college football. I put him at 10. I know you damn near, if not shit your pants, and thought I was crazy. But I, I think he's going to have a big year this year, man. I know, and I had to throw him in there because I'm a Nebraska fan, and, and I'm, 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 an, I'm an optimistic person here with this shit. But it, 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 he's going to be all right, dude. Like I said, he needs, he needs to cut it down on the turnover, turnovers this year, excuse me, and the offensive line has got to get a hell of a lot better. It can't be much fucking worse than it was last year. It was god-awful. Run game was trash. When we did throw the ball, it was to one guy. We all know who that was in Trey Palmer. We're going to have to spread it around a little bit this year, and I, I think Casey's going to do that. Yeah, I think you bring up a lot of good points. You know, if, if you'd asked me this a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago even, I probably would have said, yeah, no, they don't have a legitimate quarterback controversy here. Now? I think they do. Whoa. I really think they do. Call it a well, 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 Christian. Bring it to me then, real, buddy. I will absolutely bring it to you real here. You ready for it? Yeah. Hmm. Where was Matt Rule at before uh, before he was here? Uh, the Panthers. He was with the Panthers. Now, am I mistaken in thinking? He he brought in a guy in P.J. Walker there. Now, he, he coached him in, in college. Yeah, at Temple. Now, PJ Walker. If you had to kind of, if you had to give me, you're an, you're a, a, an NFL guy. I know you I are. What 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 do you think? What does what does PJ Walker do really well? Motherfucker can run. Um, mm -hmm. He he he's a, a I would call even almost a subpar to average passer. He is a dynamic athlete, though. Absolutely, he he definitely is. He is a dynamic athlete. Now, the guy that's in question here, one Jeff Sims. Another really good athlete. Very similar. They like, to, they like to run a very easy, simple concept, okay? They like to run an RPO style. You got to kind of be able to read and kind of make a lot of these little quick decisions with the RPO game. You know, Casey Thompson, I mean, he's a he's an athlete too. I'm not going to sit there and knock him. He can run he can run around and he can throw the ball downfield. You know, what what is I mean, again, I think Jeff Sims, if I'm not mistaken now, this says Georgia Tech, obviously, but they haven't switched everything over as he is coming over from Georgia Tech yet. But I think to me, Jeff Sims it kind of fits the mold for what he wants. I really, really do. I, I can see your side here. I could see it, Christian. I just – I think with Casey coming back, I think I, – I do know there was a tweet by Casey Thompson, which is kind of awesome because I think that these two – are going to battle it out a little bit. And that's good. I want competition in between, you know, the, the school itself, right? At a position. I think competition doesn't hurt anybody, even if it's within the same team, right? I just don't see how Jeff Sims, man, he, you said it, touched on it 100%. Very comparable to PJ Walker in a way. Kick and run. He is. I've watched him at Georgia Tech. Fucking Duke can run and run that RPO, and he runs it well. But Casey Thompson is a 10 times better passer than he is when given time. Casey's not the athlete he is. I will say that. But um, I'm going to disagree with your segment on this, or your take, I should say. And that's okay. But you, you're gonna, I'm going to blow you out the doors here this year with Casey Thompson, bro. He's going to put up some points. 
We're going to put up some points as a team. It's going to have a hell, hell of a season this year. You just write it down, put it on the, the back burner, and uh, you'll be owing me quite a bit of beer at the end of the year. <laughs> First of all, listen here, bitch. I want I want bottles. I don't I mean we we can do beer too. That's fine. You, you know what I mean? We just got to make sure that it is low calorie cuz we are training for a combine. But here's the reality of the situation because we're not quite done with this segment yet. I want to throw this out there at you. Now, looking at this angle, you know, from Nebraska we're talking about Casey Thompson and whether, you know, he is injured right now, right? So he is not going through spring training full contact and will not participate in the spring training game if I'm not mistaken, right? Good point. All right. So, uh, if anything, Jeff Sims has a chance to kind of get a good grasp on this offense and get the the actual you know physical reps. I mean, mental reps. Don't get me wrong; they're important. But you oh, actually yeah. have to be getting those physical reps. You have to go live. I don't know, man. I think I I'm thinking this is a legitimate quarterback controversy more so than I would say Texas is. You know, Arch Manning and Quinn Ewers is. Right, I think there's. I think where there's smoke, there's fire. I think Jeff Sims ends up. Uh, man, I'm not going to say he's going to beat him out, but I think he's going to play pretty early, and this is going to be pretty interesting. No, and and you you bring up a very good point, man, which I will give you some credit for. I don't usually give you credit because I think you're a sad sack of shit. But with that being said, though, yeah, <clears throat> with him being a little bit injured, and I didn't figure that into the equation. It's a new offense, a new coach, right? You know, yeah. Casey's basically in the same position Jeff Sims is, if you think about it. Now Casey's got a little bit more rapport with the receivers because he's been here longer. But I, I agree with you on that. I will give you that. I, I might have been a little bit off on my take, but I still think Casey Thompson is still just a better quarterback. And I, we ain't going to know until week one and maybe see some of the spring game coming up. But, you know, what kind of offense he wants to run or implement. You know, I will say with my history with uh, Matt Rule at Baylor and Temple and, you know, even with the Panthers, he does like to run the ball. He also likes to run that RPO style. That's what he did at Baylor mostly and was relatively successful with it so it will be interesting to see i guess you know time will tell with this one but uh i'll get you that frou-frou drink that you need at the end of the year if i lose